Hey everybody, welcome back to round two of the water comparison video series. Today I'm going to do a comparison of all five of these bottles of water. And at the end of this video, I'm going to determine which one I think is personally the best out of all five of these bottles of water. So in round one, I already gave you details about each of these bottles. So today it's going to be a quicker version where I'm just doing mostly just a taste test and just determining which one moves on to round three. So okay, first up we have IGA spring water. Next up is Gerber Pure Water for Babies. These are both in huge one-gallon containers. Next up is Real Water, and then Termuline Spring Water from Sacred Living Water Company from Maine. And then we have Spindrift Sparkling Water with real fruit inside of it. And this is carbonated water. So I have a pretty good idea which two are going to make it to the end of this round. I'm, I'm guessing these two, one of these two is going to be the winners. Because the other three didn't do very well in round one. So let's just open them up and do a comparison. For these one gallon containers, these are the same bottles from round one. Because it's so much water, I didn't even finish these in round one. So these are already open. Next up is Spindrift. You can actually hear it bubbling. Yeah. Tastes like um, like fruit, like carbonated fruit. Here's the real water. It's got, I think these both have full-size lids. Looks like they're matching lids also. Real water has a high pH level of 8.0. It's a very good water. This is one liter of water. And then the main water, Termuline Spring. good. It's good water. Very good. Now the one gallon containers. That's not good. That's, that's not good either. Okay, out of these five, I think the Gerber water tastes the worst. So, I'm just going to eliminate this right now. Gerber water is out. Next up is this IGA water. This does taste better than the Gerber, to be honest. But it's still just not good. This is going to be a much quicker video for round two than my other round two videos. Because those two are not good. This one is good for a sparkling water. But I am going to eliminate this right now. Because it's not really water. This has 8% juice. This has 15 calories. This has sugar and carbs in it. This one <laughs> is mainly is not being eliminated for its taste. It's being eliminated because it's not really water. <laughs> yeah, this one is out. <sighs> so we're down to these two. Which I kind of knew going into this video, we'd be down to these two. Um, this is water from Maine. This is from a company called Sacred Living Water. 
but this is bottled at Summit Springs. It's from a geothermal hot spring where the water naturally bubbles out of the ground and it's bottled about 50 feet away from the uh, geothermal hot spring. Like, um, Summit Springs has won multiple awards for their water. I actually do not like the branding of this. It's, I think it's called Term, Termaline Springs, but I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that, that correctly. Termaline. Termaline or Termaline? I think it's confusing that they have a, um, like a crystal on the bottle. Excuse me. I don't understand what that has to do with with water. But this comparison is not about the branding. It's about the water itself. I think this um, is a good water. Real water is a good water. It was recommended in a comment by one of you viewers. Uh, real water has a high pH level. And it says it's infused with negative ions. In the back of the water, it's like, it says it's supposed to be like scientific water in, in the way that it's infused with negative ions. An interesting thing is, these have both been stored, like, almost right next to each other for over a week, you know, for, for a while now. An interesting thing is the real water kind of feels a little bit colder. <laughs> I wonder if it was just in a slightly colder spot, or I wonder if it has something to do with the water itself. If you look up the other brand from Summit Springs, it's just called Summit Springs Raw Water on Amazon. It's some of the best reviewed water like, just in the world. Like, I think there's like 18 reviews that are all five stars, except for except for one review, which says they think it tastes dirty. <laughs> the, the review says, like, my mom buys this water and she loves it, but I think it tastes dirty, so they give it one star. But it's like, that's the only negative one out of all of them. I don't taste, I don't think it tastes dirty at all. It looks crystal clear to me. Um... Doesn't taste like dirt to me. Maybe that person on Amazon just got a bad batch. I bet these lids match. Yep. Exact same lids. I'm sure that's watertight. I've said this before, but an interesting thing with raw water is like you can drink a lot of it and doesn't upset your stomach at all. If I drank a liter of this, like this cheap, cheap plastic gallon container, I would probably be feeling pretty sick and like want to throw up now. But I feel fine drinking a whole liter of this. And... Yeah, this lid fits right on here, too. So, both of these get a thumbs up for me. Um, they're, they're both good waters. They're far better than the other three. But out of these two, I'm going to give it to Termuline Spring Water. It just tastes slightly better. And let's move on to round three. So, congratulations, Termuline Spring again, this just comes down to my personal opinion. If you tasted these two, maybe you'd go with this one. Who knows? Um, this is just my own personal preference. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.